Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the JDA Java Discord series. This time I'm going to teach you how to make a bot um, that has a command that can send invite links to your server. Episode, but it's actually pretty cool because I can show you how to do some more stuff because um, you know the more you know the more you can do so let's go ahead and do it so to get started we're just gonna go ahead and make a new command so but before that before that we're gonna have to make a well we don't have to but I'm gonna make a new package here to put our command in that's just like a that's just like what I that's just what I want to do whenever I make commands I just make sure it's in the uh, commands package so I'll name the command uh, we'll just name it invite command you know keep it simple okay and of course whenever you're using command you might want to extend a listener adapter so we're going to do that and there we go so now that we have that of course we can actually write our method that can um well it's an event listener method that can actually look for whenever a message is received and then we can check and see if that message was the command and then we can run the command if that's the command okay so of course we've already done this before so if you don't know how to do it Go back and watch the other episodes. Um, there's three episodes before this, as of right now. So make sure you go ahead and do that. It's a little playlist. You'll find it. Um, anyway, so um, so yeah, we have this here. Looks like we have our listener, and we could do something like this. If um, well, actually, we'll we'll get the message and put it in an array of mess of strings, of course, because uh, that's usually what you want to do whenever you're using parameters. And we're gonna have parameters in this. In this command here in a second before yeah so we're gonna do that so um, so yeah let's go ahead and make the uh, array so string string array message is equal to e dot get message dot get content raw dot split space okay so what this is gonna do is get the content get the string um, version of the message and then split it by the spaces okay so each word will basically be in its own index inside of the array. Pretty simple, right guys? Hopefully you know how to do that. So from at this point we can say if message dot length um, or no, if message um, uh, zero, so if the first word in the message dot, um, dot equals ignore case and then we'll have the command here, this is gonna be our command dollar sign invite. So if they type that message, which is the command, then go ahead and do something like this, we'll say um, we'll print out a message just to test it out. So we'll do e dot get channel dot send message, and we'll say you want to send an invite. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to queue it, of course. And basically, um, I learned a little more a little more about what the queue thing is for. Basically, it's um, when you're working with threads. Um, basically, what you want to do is whenever you're using queue that basically makes it so that this runs whenever it's available for running okay um, so basically if a lot of things are queued up in your threads like there's a lot of things going on at once this might have to wait a second or two before it runs okay so that's what queue is going to do it's going to make it so it runs at the soonest possible moment but if you maybe do something like instead of queue if you do something like uh, dot complete what this will do is block any other thread until this one is run okay so this one will be set as a priority and it's going to make sure this dang thing runs as soon as possible okay but basically you don't want to do this because um you want to make sure everything else is running concurrently multi it's like multi-threaded basically you know it's not very advanced but yeah hopefully you get the point of that so basically q is just what you want to use because it makes sure um well it's standard plus you know it's pretty simple right but yeah, um, yeah. So Q again is just, I mean, complete is just if you want to have everything stopped until you run that command or whatever you want to do, okay, or method, okay. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. But um, let's continue with our little program here. Um, so now that we're done um, building, you know, the basic command so far, we actually need to register it before we know run for, before you know run the bot. Um, so we're gonna do um, something like this: JDA dot event listener new. Um, and then what's it called? Invite command. Oop, no, wrong thing. Invite command. There we go. And then it's going to auto import that for us because it's in a different package and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. So now, anyway, we can start running our bot. Hopefully, we don't get any errors. We shouldn't because we didn't do anything crazy. And boom, it looks like it worked. Yep, our bot is up and running on our little server here. 
and let's go ahead and test the invite command invite boom it says you want to send an invite so that's pretty cool it works so that's awesome so now we can actually start adding stuff if we want to and let's go ahead and do that so let's do something where um, if they type invite by itself without any arguments like invite create um, then it's going to tell them how to use the command okay so let's go and add that so if um, message if the first word in the message is equal to ignore case invite and oops right here and message dot length is equal to one then execute what's in here and what I'll put in here will be to use um, invite um, do invite create okay so basically it's just going to tell them how to use the command properly because they didn't provide any arguments that's why it says message.length is equal to one if message.length was equal to two that means that there's two words inside of the message that's received okay but there's only one so that's going to tell them how to use it okay so we want the they we, we want them basically to type this okay and when whenever they type this of course there'll be two two message uh, message.length will be equal to two okay that's what I'm trying to say so we could do something like this else if um, let's see here message.length is equal to two then do um, e dot we'll actually do um, greater than or equal to two just in case they type something else by accident or something like that. Um, so we'll say else if message dot length is equal to two and a message uh, the first word in the message dot equals ignore case invite because of course we still want to check if they're typing the command or not. And then one more thing is we want to check with check and see if they type the correct um, second argument, which is going to be the the first index. Uh, so equals ignore case um, create. Okay. So if they type dollar sign invite space create, then this is going to run here. So we'll go ahead and test it out. So get channel send message. You have created. Oops. You have created a invite. Dot q. Okay. Cool. So we can try running this. We'll actually stop the first program and then we'll rerun it. There we go. Okay. Let that start up. Okay, start it up. So we'll do invite. And then it tells us how to use it because we didn't provide any arguments. So then we'll do invite create like it told us to. And then it says you have created an invite. Awesome. Okay, so it works properly. Awesome. Okay. So now let's actually put in the beef of the program, which is going to be inviting an actual or making an actual invite and then sending them the invite. Okay. So let's uh, add some code here. So get channel, send message, then we'll say, hey, space e dot get uh, get uh, author. So this will get the person that sent the message dot get name. So that will get their name as a string. Um, and then boom. We'll say hey name exclamation mark do all right you want to invite someone cool okay so that's basically just talking to you uh, make sure we have a queue on here of course because it's a message anyway so then after that it'll say get uh, oops so it'll send another message send message and we'll tell them give them this invite link okay and that will, um, and then um, on top of that, we'll send them the link. So to create a link, we can do this. So we can do e for the event dot get channel dot. Um, well, get channel is just basically, of course, going to get the channel that the message was sent in. You already know that, hopefully. So then we could do create invite. So this obviously will create an invite. And then um, to actually complete it, you have to do complete because for some reason you can't do q. Well, you can do Q, but you can't um, get the URL whenever you do Q. You'll see in a second. I'll show you. So anyway, just do a complete, add on complete in there, and that will actually create the invite for you. But then once you create the invite, you want to get the URL for the user to actually copy and paste if they want to. So that will get the string version of the URL. And then we can queue that. Um, well, we don't need to. We're going to queue the message, okay? So I know that was a lot, but just wait a second. I'll explain it in one moment, okay? So um, let's go ahead and run this just to make sure it works. Okie dokie. So we'll type invite. And we'll do invite create. And it says, hey the philosopher, you want to invite someone? Cool. 
give them this invite link and then it puts it puts the link there that's really cool guys you have to admit that's awesome and then it says this and then it has this little uh, thing right here but anyway the important part is that we are successfully able to generate a link if we click on it um, it won't do anything because we're already in the server obviously but if we copy this and give it to a friend they should be able to join okay so that's really cool and yeah so anyway um, let me explain this real quick if you don't understand so basically this is just gonna um, get the channel create the invite for that channel okay and then it, this is going to complete it so it makes sure that it happens and this method that the get URL method is basically just going to get the string version of the URL and return it for you and then it's going to put it in the send message method here and basically this queue method of course is just going to send the message for you okay it's all very simple basically this is how you create an invite and yeah so hopefully you understand that hopefully it's pretty simple for you it's all very simple so um, there's actually one more little thing I want to show you we can do. There's um, a bunch of little small methods we can add on to our create invite method. So there's like we can add a max age for the invite, like set how long it's going to last. We can um, we can set whether the invite is going to be unique or not. It's going to generate a unique you know invite key, whatever. Um, we can set the max users of the invite. So we could set how many people use the invite. That's kind of cool. And then we could set temporary if we want the invite to be temporary it's a, that's a boolean um, a bunch of stuff so that's pretty cool and so we're going to add something here we're going to add a set max age and basically what this will do is um, ask for the number of seconds that the invite will last for okay and so we'll do something simple like three um, 1600 or no 3600 seconds so 3600 and so that will last for about an hour if I remember correctly so yeah so yeah so that's in that's in seconds by the way don't forget that and so let's go ahead and try this out actually no before we run in this i'm going to add a message telling them how long the invite lasts for so that's pretty cool so we're gonna oops so we're gonna go ahead and add that send message the invite expires in times um do 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 um, let's just go and do this actually. We'll copy this into a variable. We'll put it up here. We'll call it uh, int time string is equal to 3600, okay? So then we could use it here. And then we could also use it here. Awesome, okay? So the invite, inspire, uh, the invite expires in seconds, okay? Dot Q, of course, is a message. And there we go. So hopefully that works. Let's try doing that. So basically we're creating invite, pasting the invite link, and then it's going to tell them how long the invite is going to last for. Really simple. Let's do it. Okay, test it out. So we'll do invite, and then we'll do invite create just to make sure it works. And boom, it says, hey, the philosopher, you want to invite someone cool? Give them this invite link, and then it gives you the link, and then it says this invite expires in 13 or 3600 seconds. Awesome, okay? So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's very simple, right, guys? Um, we just messed around with, you know, a few methods, and we figured something really cool out. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have any questions about what I did, because I know I'm horrible at explaining, just leave a comment, and I'll help you. Or you can join the Discord that's in the description. Make sure you join it anyway, because it's awesome. I'm all lonely in there. It's only me and my bot, as you can see. See, it's just me and Java bot. So go ahead and join it. It's in the description if you don't join it. Uh, if the link doesn't work, just leave a comment, and I'll put a new one. And yeah, so uh, also don't forget to check all the code from today's episode. I'll leave a link in the description for you also. So that will do that. That will give you all the code. Make sure you bookmark it, save it for later, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, so if you like this episode, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.